All right, ladies and gentlemen, the topic is at what point do you reach uh, watch overload or watch overkill syndrome? And honestly, I won't lie to you, I'm really making this video because the last one was so out of focus. I'm honestly, I'm doing a check. I'm doing a check on the, on the uh, camera. It appears to be fine now. I think it was a lighting issue. And that was horrendous. I almost want to delete the, uh, the video, but I love the topic so much. What's the best uh, Seiko to buy right now, which I do believe is the SBD C051. Now, the question is, at what point are you committing watch overkill? What I mean by that is certain watch uh, brands will have the same variety. They'll have uh, different varieties of the same uh, style. Here is the Tuna in all stainless. This is polished dia shield and it is on a hexad. Big debate on should you get a 21, 21.5 or 22 millimeter. I've always gotten 22s with no problems with the strap code uh, replacements. And uh, for me, this is a cool watch. I'm really weird about colors. Maybe it's because I'm colorblind. I can see individual colors, but once you blend colors, I can't see them. I will only wear this with uh, with like gray, blue. I, I refuse to wear an all stainless with like red. Just can't do it. I could wear it with black, of course. And uh, I don't feel like I'm committing overkill having it with the um, with the 031. I guess the lighting was the issue on the last one because uh, I'm not seeing any focus problems. Here, I would wear this with red, with uh, any kind of warm color. I, I would feel more comfortable uh, wearing the black uh, bezel. Now here, you're not getting polish on the tuna can. You're getting uh, stainless steel. And again, I've, I have this on the hex head. I'll, I'll be honest with you, the stock bracelet on this for me is not comfortable. There's a bulge in the clasp and the plates they dig into my wrist and I've had end mills I've had super engineers which are fantastic but the hexad is my very favorite and so I, I don't want a third to me getting a third tuna is going to be overkill I will go crazy all right I got two of these bad boys I got the uh, 051 which considering the price point of about 750 730 something like that 760 Probably, the, I, I would say this is the best Seiko you can buy right now. As I said in my earlier video, this is the Seiko to buy if I had no Seikos at all in my collection. Because I do like, I, I do have a need for dome sapphire. And uh, the loom is excellent. Now this is on the stock Dia Shield bracelet. And uh, I love it so much that uh, I got the blue. Come on, we had some focus issues last time, Mr. Blue. We get, okay, come on, I'm going to, okay, there we go. I'm not even going to touch you, dude. You are in focus. This is the Blue 053 version. Now, I'm totally intrigued by the green, but I won't do it. To me, it's overkill. Uh, so here's my question for you. Are, are you the type of watch collector who likes to get three, four, five, six or more versions of the same thing? You know what, man? I'm so glad I'm not a fan of the... Uh, I can't use G-Shocks. No, I actually kind of am a fan. I just don't know how to set them. I don't know why, but there is like a, a Sapphire version right right now. It's like the MTGM or something. There must be like eight varieties, and I'd want to get all of them. It, it drives me crazy. But uh, this is the blue, and I won't get the green because I think it would compete too much with the black. You're taking a big risk there, McMahon, putting a, another watch in there when you've had focus problems. I honestly think it was the lighting. I had the light at the wrong angle and it jacked up the last video. Deepest apologies to you guys. So uh, let me know, are, are you willing to get two of a type of style watch that you like a lot? Three, what's your cutoff line? What time is it uh, watch overkill? Let me know what you think ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, I'm out.